Let's practice short conversations to learn introductions in English. If you like these exercises, subscribe now to get more. First, listen to the conversation. Primero, escucha la conversación. Conversation 1. Hello, my name is Alex. Welcome to our university. Hola, mi nombre es Alex. Bienvenida a nuestra universidad. Hi, I am Sylvia. Hola, soy Sylvia. Nice to meet you. Encantado de conocerte. Nice to meet you too. Igualmente. Where are you from, Sylvia? ¿De dónde eres, Silvia? I am from Honduras. How about you? Soy de Honduras. ¿Y tú? I'm from Germany. Yo soy de Alemania. Is this your first time in London? ¿Es esta tu primera vez en Londres? No, I have been living in London for about three years now. No, vivo en Londres desde hace unos tres años. I see. Have you been studying here for all that time? Ya veo. ¿Has estado estudiando aquí todo ese tiempo? Yes, this is my third year here. I have got one more year to go. Sí, este es mi tercer año aquí. Me queda un año más. What are you studying? ¿Qué estás estudiando? I'm studying computer science. I want to be a programmer. How about you? Estoy estudiando ciencias de la computación. Quiero ser programador. ¿Y tú? Sounds cool. I want to be a school teacher. Suena bien. Quiero ser maestra de escuela. That's great. What brings you here? Eso es genial. ¿Qué te trae por aquí? I have always wanted to study abroad, so I came to London. Siempre quise estudiar en el extranjero, así que vine a Londres. Nice. Yeah, I love it here. I am actually planning to live here even after I graduate. Qué bien. Sí, me encanta estar aquí. En realidad planeo vivir aquí incluso después de graduarme. Perfect. You are already from Europe, so it shouldn't be that difficult for you. Perfecto. Ya eres de Europa por lo que no debería ser tan difícil para ti. Yeah, I will just need to convince my parents. What about you? Sí, solo tendré que convencer a mis padres. ¿Y tú? I love London, but I am just here for school. I will need to go back once I graduate anyway. Me encanta Londres, pero solo estoy aquí por motivos de estudios. De todos modos tendré que volver una vez que me gradúe. I see. Well, good luck to you. I have to go to class now. It was nice talking with you. Ya veo. Bueno, buena suerte. Tengo que ir a clase ahora. Fue un placer hablar contigo. Thank you. You too, and have a good class. Gracias. Igualmente, y que tengas una buena clase. Goodbye. Adiós. Now say the part of Alex. Hi, I am Sylvia. Nice to meet you too. I am from Honduras. How about you? Is this your first time in London? I see. Have you been studying here for all that time?
What are you studying? Sounds cool. I want to be a school teacher. I have always wanted to study abroad, so I came to London. Perfect. You are already from Europe, so it shouldn't be that difficult for you. I love London, but I am just here for school. I will need to go back once I graduate anyway. Thank you. You too, and have a good class. Now say the part of Sylvia. Hello, my name is Alex. Welcome to our university. Nice to meet you. Where are you from, Sylvia? I'm from Germany. No. I have been living in London for about three years now. Yes, this is my third year here. I have got one more year to go. I'm studying computer science. I want to be a programmer. How about you? That's great. What brings you here? Nice. Yeah, I love it here. I am actually planning to live here even after I graduate. Yeah, I will just need to convince my parents. What about you? I see. Well, good luck to you. I have to go to class now. It was nice talking with you. Goodbye. Conversation 2 Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. Señor Wilson, me gustaría que conociera al Dr. Edward Smith. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Es un placer conocerlo, Dr. Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Un placer conocerlo también. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. El Dr. Smith es economista. Acaba de terminar de escribir un libro sobre comercio internacional. Oh? That's my field too. I work for the United Nations. Oh, ese también es mi campo. Trabajo para las Naciones Unidas. 
in the development program, by any chance. En el programa de desarrollo, por casualidad? Yes. How did you guess? Sí. ¿Cómo lo adivinaste? I've read your articles on technical assistance. They're excellent. Leí sus artículos sobre asistencia técnica. Son excelentes. Now say the part of Dr. Smith. Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Smith. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. Oh? That's my field too. I work for the United Nations. Yes. How did you guess? Now say the part of Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, I'd like you to meet Dr. Edward Smith. Pleasure to meet you too. Dr. Smith is an economist. He just finished writing a book on international trade. In the development program, by any chance. I've read your articles on technical assistance. They're excellent. Conversation 3 Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? ¿Quién es la mujer alta junto a Barbara? That's her friend Mary. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? Esa es su amiga Mary. ¿No la conociste en la fiesta de Steve? No, I wasn't at Steve's party. No, no estuve en la fiesta de Steve. Oh. Then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend Jim. Oh. Entonces déjame presentártela ahora. Mary, este es mi amigo Jim. Hi Jim. Nice to meet you. Hola, Jim. Un placer conocerte. You too. Would you like a drink? A ti también. ¿Quieres una bebida? Sure. Let's go get one. Claro. Vayamos a buscar una. Now say the part of Jim. That's her friend Mary. Didn't you meet her at Steve's party? Oh. Then let me introduce you to her now. Mary, this is my friend Jim. Hi Jim. Nice to meet you. Sure, let's go get one. Now say the part of Charles. Who's the tall woman next to Barbara? No, I wasn't at Steve's party.
Hi Jim. Nice to meet you. You too. Would you like a drink? Sure, let's go get one. ¿Te han gustado los ejercicios? Dale a like y suscríbete para no perderte los siguientes videos. También dinos en los comentarios qué tipos de ejercicios quieres ver. Suscríbete a nuestro canal My English Go si quieres encontrar lecciones con explicaciones y estrategias para aprender inglés.